Welcome back to Broadcast, everyone. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, certainly over the last couple of weeks, it's been awesome. Listen, if you've never tuned in before, first of all, you must be on the Broadbeard social media and you must be going, who the hell is this guy? What is going on? Looks like It looks like they bought Joe Wicks off Wish. Or what the hell am I looking at right here? Well, I'll tell you what it is. Broadcast, first of all, is a shut up, printer. Broadcast is, first of all, it's a lifestyle podcast. It's a lifestyle video cast, whereas you'll see on Broadbeard social media that not only is it our bra and bastards, not only is it Hulk and big men with giant beards, but we're wide open to so many different members of the community. And the way this works is, this is a podcast where every week we talk to people from all corners of the world. Thank you for tuning in in the last couple of weeks. My name is Billy Kirkwood, by the way. Uh, I'm a comedian, I guess. And the way this works is, is I get to chat with these guys that you've either recommended. They are bra ambassadors. They're just interesting folks. We've had wrestlers. We've had MMA fighters. We've had uh, we've had hairdressers. We've had barbers. We've had so many different people on. And in the last couple of weeks, thank you for tuning in. They've been hugely popular. We've been on the road. We've been on the road and it has been amazing. We want to say a big thanks again to our pals at Winton Brewery for having us along at their brewing facility. They're about to get upgraded, but we're along at their uh, brewing facility, which has beers, shut up you, uh, beers, IPAs going all around the world. And he let us go in and get a little looks about the place. I didn't get to taste them because, well, I don't drink, but I'm assured by people that I trust very much that their stuff is absolutely delicious. It's amazing. And we're doing our best to try and get it all around the world. I'm sending it some of my, my I'm sending some of my brother in New Zealand. So uh, thanks again to those guys. And last week we got an opportunity to do another one of our little crossovers with the Pirate King at his kitchen. He had me and John there. We tasted some delicious food. We had a good fun chat. You guys seem to really love that. Make sure to check out all the Pirate King stuff. He's got a new book. He's got some merchandise coming out as well and hopefully he's got another series of his like cookings we are going to do more of those crossovers as well because the podcast crossovers seem very very popular and i'm just jumping on this week to say first of all hiya and make sure that you're all good uh, and also to let you know about some of the amazing stuff we're going to do some more podcast crossovers you guys seem to really like that and we're going to do more things on the road Next couple of weeks, we've got a special effects guru that's going to be talking with us. I'm really excited about that one. We've got some pro wrestlers on again. You guys really like it when we get pro wrestlers or MMA guys on. We've got that. And there's a couple of crossovers that we're not allowed to talk about yet. But we are going to be heading back in the road, I think, because you guys like those. And don't worry, the Sunday Night Lives are going to come back, where we're going to be doing them live. We might even just throw them out one day. We might just have a another Brotherhood special. We have another Sisterhood special. Why not? Actually, talking about that, one thing uh, we wanted to say is uh, June was actually Pride Month. We let it slip by because we'd had everything planned in so far in advance. So what we're going to do is, is we're certainly going to be reaching out to our brothers and sisters from that community. You're all welcome here. Uh, on broadcast live, wherever you are, whatever your your gender, your nationality, it doesn't matter, sexuality, it doesn't matter to us. We're always happy to have you here. And we're going to be making sure to reach out to some of those guys very, very soon as well. In fact, we've got some good guests lined up, some that we're hopefully going to get lined up and some that I think are going to absolutely blow your mind. So that's going to be awesome. Thanks again to everyone that tuned in in the last couple of weeks. Uh, I'm just going to fill you in on a couple of things that are going to be coming. First of all, uh, some of the stuff that has been uh, the streamlined shave cream over at Broadbeard Oils has been doing gangbusters. Make sure to check that out. But also, as a little heads up, some of the events involving John going on the road, uh, we're going to be, Broadbeard is going to be at Oliver Mount's Gold Cup. That's going to be in Scarborough over, um, that's going to be actually currently marked in for Saturday, September 18th the 19th. Make sure to go and check out. Say hello to John if you're heading down to the Gold Cup as well. And a couple of you have actually asked, are we going to be doing any broadcast lives on the road uh, in terms of meeting, having like a little audience and stuff there? At this current moment, why there might be facility for us to do that, um, we haven't quite got there yet. We're kind of waiting until we're absolutely sure everything is safe and, and everyone can feel comfortable. So as much as we've had the request for those, and I think it would be a bloody good laugh, um, we are not there quite yet. But if we do, if we do soon, we've got some um, we've got some guys that we're thinking about getting on. I think it would be a lot of fun. I think we might do one in Scotland, then we'll do one in England. That's as far as I've got with that. That might even be a surprise to John. I'm not entirely sure. I think we've talked about it. I don't tend to say stuff in this unless it gets the heads up from the gaffer himself. Um, talking about that, make sure to go and check out everything he's doing over on the social media. You know, there's new vlogs all the time. He was filming some literally the other day. There's going to be some new stuff going up in some videos. So if you haven't already, 
head over and check out Broadbeard social media. Make sure they're on Instagram. I think he's on TikTok. He's on TikTok as well. Uh, and of course, they're right here on Facebook. And why not grab yourself some amazing gear while you're at it? And by that, I don't mean in the West Coast Ayrshire type gear type me. I mean in the terms of Robbie uh, stuff. Why not get yourself some neck gaiters, some stuff to make your beard look nice? Mine looks like I've literally been dragged through a hedge. Uh, <laughs> remember when you used to just, the highlight of your week was pushing your pal through a hedge on the way to school. Remember those days? When are they bringing them back? Where's the Olympic sport? Scotland would still be in a European Cup of that. I'll tell you that for, for nothing. If you're not into football, none of that will make any sense. I don't really understand football. I just think it's a... But Scotland, that's about as far as I've got. Right, uh, yeah, so make sure uh, to go and check out all the stuffs over there. Gab yourself some good stuff as well. Uh, right, just, sorry, I'm, I am late out of breath. This is the longest I've gone without sneezing, thanks to hay fever, in about three weeks. Honest, I hate the fact that I'm getting daily, getting the crap kicked out of me by a bloody daffodil. It's doing my nut in. Uh, and saying that though, I did find out that uh, my card is so bad. I did find out a friend of mine has actually been making uh, um, uh, sex movies with his wife uh, during this uh, during lockdown. So good for him. Maybe my cardio is. I don't even think I can make a sex TikTok at this point. It's one pump and I'll be done. Don't know why I shared that. Felt I had to. Uh, don't forget, of course, that we will answer any questions right here on broadcast. It could be anything at all, no matter how silly. We are asking everyone on tour what's the deal with pineapple and pizza. I think it's fine. I think you need to grow up, personally. Uh, <laughs> these much worse things you could eat. Trust me. Uh, <laughs> don't know why I said it. I was like a threat. If you're deciding you're going to eat something disgusting, please don't send me pictures. I don't need that. Uh, I am on the rank side of easily bulkable at this stage. And if you don't know what the word bulk means, then trust me, you will. Uh, don't forget you can ask any questions. You can either send them straight to John over a broad beard, whether it's questions about the product, whether it's questions about anything, he will try and answer those and get back to you there. But I will also let you know what those responses are. And if you have just any general questions, just about fun, just about passing about, you can let us know where they are on here as well. Right. This is a weird one. It's just me kind of jumping on with a little bit of an update, but that's kind of where we are. So uh, next week, uh, we are going to be having our special effects guru. That is going to be brilliant. And we've got some other guests. We're hoping, I, I can't tell you, man, in two or three times I've nearly told you, there's a couple were literally uh, as a surprise. And oh, and very quickly, I want to give a big thanks uh, to Bruce that had me on his uh, Teapot for One podcast. We've got to talk a lot about Broadbeard. It's nice to be interviewed for a change. It was nice to be interviewed, even though I realized I talked some of it is shite. But uh, make sure to go check out our pal over at Teapot for One. Lots of stuff about biking, attitudes, and his travels around the world. Bruce is not only a really funny man and a, Scot a Scotsman in exile, but uh, he's also one of our bra brothers to make sure to check that out. Right, and very quickly, one last time, TBC, but February the 19th, 2020. It's in the diary. So make sure to just circle it if you can. Will be the 2022. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, Broadway the Mustache Championships at Dry Gate in Glasgow. Now, obviously, with the way the world is just now, um, everything is it's got a little bit of a TBC next to it, but some of the things are happening and we are keeping a close eye on it. So maybe right now, put that date in your diary. Hopefully, I'll be giving more details about that in the next couple of weeks because I am dying that weekend to do a broadcast live and maybe have some of our favourite guests on it and just have a bloody good laugh and open it up. Um, I don't know if John will let me do that, but I'm going to do it anyway because I think it'll be I think it'll be bloody fun. Just it'll be nice to go and lose your phone somewhere that isn't in the same room you've been in all fucking day. That's pretty much where it is. You know, my tra literally, in saying that, I've done more travelling in the last week than I think I have in the last six months. I saw a homeless woman in a wheelchair have a fist fight with another homeless woman in a wheelchair. So, so who's going to win that fight? Gravity, probably. I have any idea. I'm not making fun, but there it was. It's like rock and sock and robots. What exactly are you meant to do about that? Uh, and of course, oh, I might as well get the shameless plug in. Don't forget to go and like me over the social medias. Billy Kirkwood Comedy, Billy Kirkwood Comedian. I am going to be back on the road. Over the next couple of weeks, I'm actually going to be gigging back in Edinburgh, Glasgow, and Liverpool. I'm actually going to be down doing some gigs in Brighton as well in the next couple of weeks. And of course, don't forget Monday Night Improv. Every Monday night, free Totally free and interactive on Facebook Live and YouTube as well. Um, that's why I really feel like I've done a lot of other shameless plugging. Uh, there was actually another quick question here we had. In. Oh, yes. And I really wanted to say this. A big thanks to everyone that has recently been giving us uh, reviews over on Facebook and over uh, on uh, other places. It makes a real big 
difference to what happens with Broadbeard. So I tell you what, if you've bought a product, and why haven't you? Because uh, some stuff has been flying off the shelves. We're back in with Beard Butter as well. So make sure to check that. If you do get just a couple of seconds, why not head over and just leave us a quick review? It really does make a difference to algorithms and all that type of thing and the same with a podcast as well don't forget you can listen to all the archive all the guests we've had so far like i said we've had writers we've had uh, uh, oh god we've had so many so shut up you uh, we've had so many different characters and people on the show so you can head over right now you can listen to all the archive over on itunes and of course spotify but don't forget to go and check out the video copies as well which you can do right now over at broadbeard's youtube channel why not head subscribe and do me a favor, ding that bell as well. Because not only are you going to get broadcast videos, but you're going to get instructional videos on how to look after your beard, facial hair, and so much more. But also uh, some of the interesting vlogs of the day to day running of the Broadum. Broadedum. Broadedum. I think that's a thing. All right, everyone, I'm going to get the hell out of here. Please look after yourselves, and I will see you next week with a brand new live broadcast.